We're gonna see a Sora here from Blue Mate though, which I know the wait, was he Wario or was Sora? I think he plays both. I could be true. I feel way, like he has to be a Wario with the tag Glutamate. I've seen him play Wario before, I'll say okay. that much. But we're gonna see Sora Peach, which is a weird matchup to say the least. Uh, I mean... Yeah. Oh, it's back. Kind of. Sorry about okay, that, guys. Choppy, we're, good. <laughs> we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Sorry about that. All right. All right. Chat can All hear good. me, but uh, yeah. Okay. We're back. <laughs> uh, right. Sorry about that, guys. I think some okay. technical difficulties with Discord. Okay, we're back. Tap, tap, we're st we're still the mic. Is this thing on? Okay, we're still live. <laughs> All right, we're still live. All right, cool. You guys are good now. Sorry Perfect. about that. <laughs> well, we're a good ways away into the first stock here. The Lidimate's done a lot of damage. Utilizing the Sora up air, which is one of the best up airs in the game. That thing is crazy. For sure. Start. I think a big thing here is like watching out for the up out of shield from Sora. But with Peach's mobility, I feel like it won't be nearly as big of an option. We saw there that you're able to use like the back air and then drift away. Same thing with Fair. Just able to use like this float mobility so that you don't have to worry about punishes out of shield nearly as much as you would with another character. Um, I feel like she's going to be really good at getting Sora out of the air as well. Oh, okay. She's living. Sitting at yeah. 170 though. So I this will is say definitely Sora very scary. up throw will now kill. Okay. Which matter, definitely matters. Uh, yeah, I mean, the Sora Uppy is also only, I think it's like frame 9 or 10 out of shield, so like it's not the fastest. Great pickup there by Jukane with the back air though. Catching Absolutely. Sora floating there above the ledge. Yeah, I think it's very important to like pay attention to the way that Sora is recovering, because he can use that side B after he uses the up B, and um, a lot of the time you can get caught off guard from that. Oh, Great. yep, you were right! <laughs> <laughs> a but... lot of people forget. I think like we're gonna see a lot of high recoveries from Sora because most of the time you see like Peach using the downer at the ledge to try to poke into another aerial, keep him off stage. But Sora doesn't really have any reason to recover low if um, Peach is trying to cover there. He can just like use all of his different like side beasts to go wherever he wants. Yeah, Sora just gets to he gets to go anywhere at the cost of being very slow while doing it. Bro, yeah. He's like he's like the turtle. <laughs> Great back air here. I mean, this Peach Bear is going to be what you see from GK, but Glutamate, he needs to tack on some damage and just find, you know, a uh, fair 1 2 or a Nair 1 2 or something like that. Tries to get it there, but no dice, and it's just a very slow, measured affair between these two players. Oh, yeah. So far. I mean, Jukane, very disciplined Peach player, will definitely be taking his time figuring it out. Oop, side be the wrong way, maybe? Duh. I mean, okay, well, it worked out. out. Who cares? It worked out. When you're Peach, you can afford to make those type of mistakes. If it was a mistake. Could have been a bait. Who knows? I will Ooh, say, though, it's, that. that was beautiful. It's also worth noting that, like, sometimes Peach can, like, struggle to kill. Uh, because, like, but Sora's so light that he'll die, like, a little earlier to, like, the Nair, the Fair, all that jazz. Yeah, you have to watch out for him. Or uh, up smash out of shield from Peach, but a lot of the time they're like scrapping in the air, so it's a lot of air to air stuff. Using the um, the back air is going to be really important for Peach. Also using Nair. Um, Fair's a little laggy, and I oh feel like God. yeah, you're not going to be able to use it nearly as much. I think that Sora is going to be able to like get in your face and not, like you get those opportunities to use Fair. But so far, it's been pretty even. They've just been going back and forth, up trading stocks pretty consistently at the same time. Yeah, I mean, look how long this has taken. It's almost been five minutes, and I mean, you can just tell both of these players, they're taking their time. They don't want to drop the first game, and they're doing a great job of feeling each other out. We've already seen 
interesting adaptations, both in the recovery, both in the movement, um, all that. But Glutamate now has a center stage, he's in the Pokeball, and he's using the sword to just control the airspace like he should. Absolutely. Yeah, I think Jukane definitely wants to get Glutamate underneath him. If he can get him on the platform and able to string like Peach up airs together, using up tilt, um, anything that's going to keep him in the air, it's going to be really good for him. Because Sora is very good at using aerials, but I feel like he's very good, bad at getting down. He does have like the uh, the downer that he can use, but in general, if you're underneath him, it's going to be really hard for him to deal with that pressure. But it seems like so far, Glutamate's doing a really good job of like making sure that we're fighting horizontally, using a lot of that lightning. Or is it thunder? It's it's thunder, yeah. Thunder, but okay. Using it is thunder. lightning, though. It is so, like, lightning. Thunder yeah. is not like an object, but whatever. well, yeah. Thunder is actually just like the. Yeah. the it's yeah. Science is weird. No one cares about it. Ooh, one yeah. two to the up air though, and that'll do it for glutamate. I'm digging the Hawaiian yeah. shirt though. Right? Oh, absolutely. That's Bro too. He's got that, like, you know, slightly messy look going on with, like, the slightly unbuttoned shirt, the frizzy hair, but it's working out. Looking clean. Oh, yeah. Rolling in the spring with a nice floral shirt. Absolutely. I say as it's 30 degrees here in Cincinnati. Yeah. In, in New York, <laughs> we just had a lot of rain the past few days, too. So. Yeah. At least it's not snow. Yeah. Oh, the cloud here from Jucane. Okay. Well, I was about to mention some changes I'd like to see them make, but this is just a totally different matchup now. Um, it's so funny to see the height difference between them. Oh, it's really funny, yeah. But either way, I mean, this is an interesting matchup. Uh, I actually think Sora does, like, decent into Cloud. Like, it's definitely, like, not too bad at all. Mm -hmm. Um, particularly, I mean, I think the counter is a big deal, because, like, if Cloud uppies and it, like, it hits Sora through the stage, the counter will still knock him out of it and he's dead. That makes sense. Yeah, I think the biggest thing is going to be, like, that uppie at a shield that we've already seen so much from Cloud. Ooh, okay, able to, like, weave that through the, uh, the lightnings, but again, seeing another uppie at a shield. I think the back air is going to be really helpful as well, um, just to like air to air against Sora, just because it is such a large hitbox, whereas I feel like a lot of the time Peach has to be a lot closer in order to scrap with him. Yeah, and you're already seeing Glutamate trying to get some of these edge guards, right? Because he knows that like, if you're a character with a really good offstage, that's where you have to make your money against Cloud. A Sora also, to his credit, has a really big active back air, so we could see maybe some sword to sword play here from Glutamate. Backer, but no dice, but there's an up air. Yeah. Beautiful coverage. And Jukane's inexperienced. I mean, I know he's obviously not like too familiar with Cloud compared to Peach. Peach has been his main. Um, maybe a bit of his inexperience showing there in the corner situations. Alright, so far doing a really good job of keeping this aerial pressure and able to seal out the stock with that fair though. That was dinner's ready DI. Oh yeah. <laughs> up the end of shield here. Oh beautiful. And this could be death. No, good drift. Cloud's yeah, that got was that mad airspeed. Great recovery there. Have to watch out for maybe... I thought he was going to go for a fair. Yeah, it's so dangerous here against Cloud, because at these percents is actually where he feels most dangerous sometimes, because he, mm -hmm. he has those long strings. The double forward air is obviously a big deal. But Glutami, I think... I love how grounded he's been this whole time. He's barely mm -hmm. been jumping, unless it's like for like a beat or like some like swing of back air, and I think it's mattered a lot. Yeah, definitely seeing a lot of jumps in the first game against Peach, but now that um, Jukane's been using a lot Look of up at his shield, he's just playing super close to the ground, doesn't want to contest against that back air, doesn't want to have to deal with that up beat. Ooh, that was so scary! Yeah, and I mean, it's paying out in dividends because Jukane is definitely not prepared to deal with the Sora that's like not jumping, right? It's definitely mm -hmm. not what you're used to playing against. Um, people who play Sora, they love to, you know, play around the air, but Glutamate showing what good ground to movement can do for you as a player right now. Take notes. I'll be at a shield and that should kill. No, barely. Good DI on that. But that's not. Yeah, yeah, that one didn't matter. <laughs> and Jukane shaking his head. He's not happy getting upbeat twice in a row, but who would be? Great grab there. Trying to get the counter, but Jukane has really good patience here, just waiting for a good opportunity to try to seal out this stock, probably looking for a back air. 
Um, up smash is also something that you have to watch out for, but a lot of the time we're not seeing glutamate use any moves on shield. We're seeing a lot more of like this pressure with the uh, the different spells. Yeah. So I don't really know how Cloud is supposed to deal with that. I really like the adaptation that we saw from glutamate as far as like dealing with the two different types because I feel like he was playing a lot more scrappy in the first game, but now we're seeing a little bit more campy and it's working out super well. Yeah, I mean, he is making the cloud come to him and it's working really well because he's like, he's sitting on the ground here. Every time Chukane's gotten an opening, it's been from like a big lead or like an overshoot or something. Just like that goes underneath the Thundaga with the dash attack. Mm -hmm. so here's the Blizz, some big damage coming up for Blutami. He wants to go up 2-0 here and wants to retire this cloud maybe, who knows. I honestly think the cloud is working really well though. We just need to figure out a way to deal with this um, projectile pressure because we haven't really seen that counter come into play at the ledge super often. Yeah, but I also feel like he hasn't needed it. And obviously credit to Jukane playing around the counter in the first place. <laughs> As we see some confirms here from Glutamate. This is the kill percent here for Sora. Barely not killing with that up air, but another one definitely will. Yeah. There it is. Jukane looking a little frazzled. I mean, it also is worth noting, he was just playing special series before this. Maybe a little hard to immediately go back and forth in between. Yeah, I can imagine that that would definitely mess with you. At SmashCon, I played Smash 4 and then Ultimate right after that. Oh, My brain God. was mush. So I can't, I can't imagine playing a game that's even more similar and then switching in between the two. Yeah, and we're gonna see the Peach back in here. Jukane. Looking a little inquisitive, and I mean, if he wants a game to prove that he can win this, it is now. We're back on PS2. Yeah, able to use that turnip to kind of deal with the pressure that we were seeing earlier is going to make it a lot easier to deal with the camping. Already seeing some pretty decent damage output here from Peach. Ooh, oh, there's a stitch. stitch. Oh, just drops it though. I'd love to see a a little bit more of an emphasis on the center stage from Jukane. I think that in the in the first game as Peach, um, he let Glutamate sort of chill in center for free a lot of the time, and when he had advantage states, he would give them up by like extending a little too far here and there. And I think like if he's holding a turnip in like the Pokeball, I think he's in like a really strong power position. That makes sense. And I feel like we haven't seen a lot of capitalization off of the stronger turnips either. Like there, we just saw that we threw away the stitch. In game one, we also had a stitch that we just like threw up and didn't use. Whereas having that, even if you're not using it to get a lot of damage, having that threat is very, very good. And it's gonna make it a lot harder for them to approach. So if you're just standing there with a super powerful turnip, like you said, it's gonna be such a good power play. Absolutely. Great rising back air though. Jukane got hit by that one in real life. <laughs> Yeah, he definitely doesn't seem too happy here. Definitely needs to like get his um, his mental together and make sure that he's staying composed. Because I feel like if you're playing tilted against Sora, it's only going to get worse. Yeah, and Sora, I mean, nobody really talks about this, but he has really good damage output. I mean, each aerial, the three hits does like 13, but up air does like 14, I mean. Oh yeah. It's it's crazy and like look like, Already 60% of extra credit here for Glutamate, 72, and it's hard to kill Sora as Peach. Like, unless you're finding like a big combo, you gotta find some big openings. And when there's this mashing of the B button going on, I mean. <laughs> I do appreciate that from Zukane though. It seemed like he was trying to get composed, figure out what he should do, the best way to get around these um, this pressure that we're seeing. Absolutely. And now he's got center stage, so if he's able to get like a nice back air or something to send him off stage, we might see a kill here. I'm just playing super patient, not trying to overextend. Yeah, it was tricky from Gloomy. He did jump Sonic Blade out of the corner to just go right over Jukane's <laughs> head. And he's definitely wants to get the second stock here. I mean, he's at the percent to get like a 1 2 into an up air or something. So we'll see what he can find. Great grab from Jukane, though. Yeah, that was cute. Yeah. It can be hard to recognize when to grab your opponent sometimes in these like tense scenarios. So, mm -hmm. Good on him. Yeah, especially at this percent, he definitely thinks that he's looking for a back air to go for the kill. So being able to get that grab, throwing him off stage again. But again, sitting at 141, looking a little rough. Yeah, an up air or a back air will definitely kill from Sora here. Or an up tilt on the platform with Rage. And Glutamate is in the driver's seat right now. Okay, a bit of spaghetti. Okay, oh. a lot of spaghetti. A lot of spaghetti. <laughs> We're in an Italian restaurant right now. 
Okay, I like this movement that we're seeing using the float cancels to get back to center stage and able to string that forward air off of it, but... Yeah, yeah. oh. Glutamate's movement out of the corner has actually been really tricky. I mean, he's mixed up his recovery heights really well. And just having like that very weird double jump, it's not like what you're mo mostly seeing from characters in the game. And the air mobility too, it's just very hard to cover if you're not ready for it. Yeah, and Jukane takes the stock at a heartbreaking 200 after the hit. I mean, when do you see Sora live that long? When do you see Peach kill that late? I feel like it happens more often than not, actually. Like, if you don't find a big combo, I mean, the forward air, obviously the early nerfs, the Peach, definitely lower the kill count. That who makes knows? sense. Either way, if Jukane, Jukane probably needs some big turn of combo to bring this back. I mean, and we haven't really seen much of that yet, so I'd love to see maybe a little more out of the punish game from this Peach. Oh, Ooh, beautiful. Yeah. Not quite killing, though. But yeah, Jukane even took his headphone out. He thought it was over. Okay, okay down smash. Might get something started here. Uh, Rock there's a Freeze here. is so good at cutting off approaches. Yeah, Blizzaga is. I think a lot of people when Sora first came out, they thought it like wasn't super good, but. It's the freeze, like, time scales up so fast with, like, how much percent the opponent has that it can just mm -hmm. lead to so much damage output. It's really crazy. I just don't know how you're supposed to approach against it, especially when, like, he's sitting underneath a platform like this. Like, you can't land on top of him because of the platform. You can't really get around him super well. Uh, yeah, it it's really hard. It's really difficult, um, especially if you're a character that wants to, like, hang around in the air or like approach like from the front or something like mm -hmm. because Blizz we saw that just... with cloud too like a lot of the time he's trying to use back air to approach but he was getting caught by the uh blizzaga and then yeah. peach is doing the same thing with her floating in back air so and it's I also important like... to know i mean the blizz the blizz is a disjoint too so so dumb yeah like you can't do anything like, yeah it's basically like imagine like like once in a while, cloud back air, but it freezes you. Yeah, <laughs> it's it sounds fair. I honestly think that we should. Oh, and it also does. It all. It also does. If you do it up close, it does like half a shield too. Oh, shit. It's really good. Sora is a good character. He needs it. Low key, he does though. No. On the lowest of keys.